Hi everyone. In today's video, we will learn the concept of group frequency and its application in organic chemistry. There is an important observation that many functional group absorbs IR radiation at above the same wave number regardless the structure of the rest of the molecule. For example, the CH stretching vibration usually appears between 3200 to 2800 cm inverse. Here I have included the IR spectrum of octane molecule and the IR spectrum shows the CH stretch is at 2971 cm inverse. We already mentioned that it lies between 3200 to 2800 cm inverse. So it is correct. Here it lies at 2971 cm inverse. Here we have seen the CH stretch in octane molecule. When we analyze the IR spectra of one hexane molecule, another molecule, we can see the CH stretch lies at 2971 cm inverse. And in case of 2 butanone, a ketone, there also we can see the CH stretch lies at 2991 cm inverse. That means the CH functional group absorbs IR radiation at same wave number regardless the structure of the whole molecule. One is octane, another is hexane, another is butanone, yet CH stretch have the vibration values in between 3200 to 2800 cm inverse. When we analyze C double bond O stretching vibration, it usually appears between 1800 to 1600 cm inverse. If we analyze the IR spectra of 2 butanone, we have this C double bond O stretching vibration and it lies at 1715. In the IR spectrum of butyl aldehyde, the C double bond O stretching vibration lies at 1731 cm inverse. So these vibration bands ranging from 1800 to 1600 cm inverse, they make a diagnostic marker for the presence of C double bond O functional group in a sample. These types of IR bands are called group frequencies. They can tell us about the presence or absence of specific functional groups in a sample. So if it is present, it gives a peak in the IR spectrum. If it is absent, it will not give a peak in the IR spectrum at that particular wave number. And the region of IR spectrum from 1400 to 700 cm inverse is called the fingerprint region. Here we can see a large number of IR bands and it can be used to identify the molecule. And these bands found in the fingerprint region is the characteristic of a molecule. So we can tell these bands are fingerprint of a molecule. In this table we can see the characteristic IR absorption frequencies of the common functional groups like alkanes, alkenes and alkynes. The stretching vibration of alkanes lies at 3000 to 2850 whereas that of alkanes lies at 3100 to 3000 cm inverse for alkynes it lies at 3300 cm inverse. The C double bond O bond of aldehyde shows an absorption peak at 1740 to 1720. The C double bond O bond in a ketone shows an absorption peak at 1725 to 1705. And if it is present in carboxylic acid, then the absorption peak will be shifting to 1725 to 1700. The hydroxyl group shows an absorption peak at 
3650 to 3600 for alcohols and phenols. If it is hydrogen bonded, it lies between 3200 to 3400. The hydroxyl groups in a carboxylic acid shows an absorption peak at 3400 to 2400 centimeter inverse. This data can be used to identify the functional groups present in the unknown organic compound by comparing with the IR spectrum recorded. So by applying the concept of group frequency, we can elucidate the structure of a molecule. Another application of this concept is detecting the hydrogen bonding in a molecule. Here we have the IR spectrum of ethanol. Here we can see the CH stretch and CO stretches and the OH stretch. Actually, OH stretching vibration is at 3600 cm inverse. But here we can see a broad peak at a lower value 3391. Which means, due to the presence of the intermolecular hydrogen bonding, the bond length will increase and thereby weakens. Therefore, the vibrational frequency will be shifting towards the lower value. So, if the frequency shifting towards the lower value implies the intermolecular hydrogen bonding is present. By this, I hope we got a basic idea about the IR spectroscopy. Thank you.